been a minute since I did this. Come on, heck, been here before. Like we've done this, okay? What's up, what's up, what's up? I know we are not in my regular setup. Today we're in my, let's say office. I'm still in a transitional period. I don't even wanna go into it. Let's just not, right? This is what I'm dealing with, first of all. I wanna give you guys a little look on my hair because changes have been made. Here she is. My hair is still super long. As you can see, I would consider this long. This is just as long as I got it the very first time. Like, I've cut my hair twice already. Or no, I cut my hair once and I plan to cut it again because it's just too long. It's too much. At this point, I'm overstimulated, okay? That's why my hair always stays in the nastiest bun you've ever did see because I'm over it. So over it, in fact, that I brought it upon myself to... Where's my other one? Where is I brought it upon myself to cut my own hair. First of all, I think I cut it too short because I like long hair on me, okay? Personally, long hair is a preference. We all know this. So I had thought that I was gonna cut my hair and love it because I was like, my hair alone is pretty long, but I was like, oh, if I just cut half of the extension, I'm gonna be good. Like, I quite, literally immediately regretted my decision and now i got these i mean i don't hate it but to have my whole hair this length would get very old very fast right here would be cute right the urge was just so strong i just couldn't fight it i couldn't fight it anymore i keep saying i want to cut my hair and i've even talked to my loctician about making booking an appointment to get my hair cut and what i was looking for and different styles that we're going to try because my hair will be shorter like i i fully intend on sh cutting like two to three inches like a significant cut is what i want to say because i cut two to three inches last time and it, i feel like it wasn't that significant but we're going for significance this time okay especially because the summer's coming and i'm so over this super i know it's not super long i know it's not super long but i'm over how long this hair is it's just too much it's too much to deal it's too much to handle i've said this all before in my one year update so go check that out but yes this will be my first retwist since my birthday i didn't retwist it myself so yeah let's take a look i really haven't shown you guys my raw hair now that i'm like sitting down here and really you know i prefer to come on here dolled up not to say i always do because definitely not but i've never looked this dusty i'm Let's even see if you see this video, honestly. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at my hair first and foremost. Let me know what you guys see and what you observe from that angle. I feel like a lot of the time I've talked about ratio, but I've never been able to display ratio very well. So here's a good one. Here's a great one. Oh my gosh. Little hairs are getting all over my face. It too, like the shedding, it's kind of getting crazy. It's kind of getting crazy. Um, but, ooh, that's cute. This is a great example. Here's some lint, but like, this lint is very easy to pick out. I'm talking about the lint that's like at the ends of my hair, which I don't even really have, but you can see it's like right here. These ones don't come out easy unless you're taking some hair with it but i don't know if you can see hold on do you see that all the lint at the very end and right at this moment is not super significant but trust me when you see all the hair together at the back and all you see are white butts it's significant I'm filming this at the end of March. So let's say April, since April 1st is tomorrow. And my last retwist was a month ago, like February, 1st of February, let's say, the beginning of April. I haven't gotten a retwist. So that's what, a month? Okay, my bad. I would go three months without a retwist. Like my last retwist, before that, I had gone three to four months before a retwist. That's the longest I've ever been without a retwist, so but it was all in preparation for my birthday because I was like, I'm not gonna get a retwist and then go back and get a retwist when I could just wait till my birthday. So I wanna just stretch it out and really show you.
I'll show you more ratio like this is what I mean some of the ratio is good like besides the budding over here where you can clearly see that that's where my lock starts um, besides that budding if it was brushed it would be very seamless and this ratio would be harder to tell because it's consistent right but then I have ratio like this where I feel like it's more significant. I have a bit of budding here. When it comes to budding, I don't get budding often. I just fix them myself or it doesn't really bother me. If I'm being honest, that's what makes my locks unique and look like they're real. I feel like these extensions are just too perfect, which is also why, I don't know, here's the tea y'all. Come on, come close, okay? Oh, I'm about to spill the tea which is why I don't think my lock extensions were handmade. Okay, I don't think so. I'm, uh, I might make a video on it. I'm gonna do a little more investigation. This is just allegedly, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying anything, okay? <laughs> but I just feel like my locks may be manufactured just by the density and how perfect they are just seems that they're unlikely to be man-made but i mean she really could have did it she really could have did her thing and you know allegedly 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 that's just how i personally feel we're gonna take a look at some more budding this is now from like the middle like the middle of my hair like here close to my crown you can see i don't have much to say but like yeah it's frizzy and budding is really apparent at the end like my lock doesn't start until here but you can tell this is all retwist the transition is just so apparent i'm not sure what happened here like i just can't i think this is just the transition but it's so like I'm not sure what happened. Hey guys, it's editing me here and I just wanted to spend a little more time on something that I feel like I don't spend enough time on throughout this video and that's the relationship that my lock extensions have with my locks is nothing to do with the way they were installed. You guys seen my first video and see how satisfied I was and how happy I was with my lock extensions a year ago. And obviously there are many factors that go into the way my hair matures and the way my hair has been handled. So it has nothing to do with how they were originally installed and everything to do with how I upkept them. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. It has nothing to do with the loctician or how they were installed and everything to do with me so i just wanted to make that clear so that this video is not misrepresented in any way shape or form so that you guys are informed okay great thanks here's another individual look at a lock and its relationship with the lock extension most of my hair is a one-to-one -one ratio and what i mean by that is that my hair is this length and the lock extension is an equal length i could fold my hair in half and it be equal for most of them, but obviously not all of my hair is the same size or not all of my hair is the same length, right? And my hair was cut evenly. So for most of my hair, that's the case. But for like some of my hair, it was not the case. Um, I'm gonna take another one from maybe this side. This side is the thicker area of my hair. So my hair is pretty thick on this side. And I think you'll, see that throughout these locks this one you could tell like this one is nearly invisible like you wouldn't be able to tell where it starts and no it does not start over here this is just budding um but this is what i mean my hair smells really good but you could see sometimes there's that fraying relationship that I've spoke about in my, I believe, six month update. I talked about the frame. Um, let's do one from the back. I never look at the back of my locks, so. But yeah, you could see the thicker, on the thicker side of my hair, my hair is a lot more consistent in its relationship with my extension 
compared to this side where let, let me go to a similar area where it's a lot more like you feel me you can see what i'm talking about i want to show you guys oh my perimeter is doing a lot better i don't have any complaints about that anymore the only thing i would say is that i wish i got different size locks for how much hair was in that area because to me that just makes sense like no locks are the same size i wish there was more variety especially because if i paid that much money and if they're handmade there definitely should have been different sizes to go around perimeter and where locks are inevitably going to be smaller which is also why i feel like maybe my locks weren't handmade and they were all just you know either imported from someone who machine made them or maybe they somebody else may have handmade them and you know whatever the case is they're all the same size which to me doesn't make sense i've had locks for a year i would say if i was to change one thing about the journey it would be that it would be inquiring about like getting different sizes for my hair's needs but personally i wouldn't have known that i only know that now maybe i'll make a video if that's something you guys want to see i'll make a video on the things i wish i knew before getting lock extensions because there's a lot <laughs> this is not a review on like how things went this is just my experience and my opinion strictly my opinion so yep um let's do a couple more but i want to show you ones by my perimeter but this is what i'm talking about this is what i mean by why are we putting a medium-sized lock on hair that's clearly going to be a thinner sized lock this is at the very front of my hair and this is the thinner side of my hair so my hair is just not as bulky but I've sent her videos on my hair and I've explained that to her. I said, yes, it looks like a lot of hair, but my hair is thin, just be warned. Sometimes maybe you won't be able to predict how the lock is gonna twist out and come out, but I feel like precautions like the front of my hair where hair is just naturally thinner, it should have been a small lock put on it. It's just my opinion though. It isn't a problem for me anymore. You guys heard about my um, concerns about my perimeter before in my last update but this can be a problem for a lot of people because of the tension and just the size of it. It can be a problem for a lot of people. Like this is something I would say be careful of. I think that's all I have to say before I do my retwist. Hopefully she wants to film. If not, this will be the video. <laughs> Remember earlier when I said, oh, I've never been this busted and now here we are. Yeah, but actually, I'm going to make a part two since this intro was like so long. So I'm going to post this one and then I'm going to post my mom doing my retwist in another video. So just stay tuned for that one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.